Leo was born seemingly healthy on the um, 12th of May, uh, he, on International mm. Nurses Day. And then when he was seven days old, we got a phone call from the paediatrician saying, asking, firstly asking if he was okay. Um, was he feeding well? Was he awake? Was he waking appropriately? Was he crying? And then we, he, she mentioned that he um, had screened positive for MCAD deficiency and I was so confused. I remember Jess just looking at her phone and instantly research, 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 research. Hours and hours of just looking, well, what does that mean for our family and what does it mean for Leo? And, and then we started to look internally. We're like, oh, genetic, genetic disorder. God, what have we done to him? As a paediatric nurse, I knew that metabolic disorders could be very serious and I knew somewhat what might be involved in having a child with a metabolic disorder, but I had never heard of MCAD prior to that phone call. Leo is deficient in an enzyme that helps him utilise his body fat stores as energy. So if he goes too long without food, he can drop his blood sugar level and become very sick very quickly. That can most seriously lead to a coma or even death. I've been supporting Genes for Genes probably more casually from the beginning of my nursing career. I saw how much of an impact genetic illnesses had on children that I cared for. So I would buy a pen or buy a badge and little things that can make a big difference. Gene therapy is extremely important for metabolic disorders, knowing that one day we won't have to worry about if he's missed a meal or if he gets unwell. Yeah, knowing that one day there could be a cure and that we could forget all about MCAD is just really exciting. <laughs>